uh, holiday. Ooh, Valentine's Day. That's what it was. Uh, I don't tend to celebrate much Valentine's Day because it's my son's birthday. So that's why I didn't get the video on Tuesday. But uh, I just want to make this quick video because I got a lot of videos planned coming up. And uh, I've got a lot of questions about what's going on around me. And I just want to make a quick video on it. So, first off, let's talk a little bit about what's going on around me. Um, where I film at, I have just, it's stuff, it's stuff everywhere. Uh, up here, you'll see it's a dynamic disc stamped uh, Nuke. It was my first, like, custom disc I bought. And I love that stamp on it. And I just, I can't get rid of it. It's such a beautiful disc. Um, back here in the corner, I know you can't see it that well. Uh, when was that? Let me look real quick. Boy, this is an NFL Roadrunner. Uh, this is, whew, 5811. And it was at hole 12 at Ferry Park in Fort Walton Beach. Uh, the Pro T was like, you know, 240 foot hole or something like that. Uh, it was my first ace. I uh, threw it on a backhand, turned over, hit a tree real high, went in the basket. You know, first ace. <laughs> uh, above me, we have some Camp Todd paintings. I love these things. I wish I had more. Uh, these are absolutely beautiful. If you guys haven't checked him out, definitely check him out. He, he does amazing work. Uh, over my head, over my head, I got my nuke, my Z nuke, my first disc I ever bought. When I first started playing disc golf, I think I did what most people do, and they go online and like, what's the furthest flying disc? And at the time, I believe the nuke was just coming out, um, but it, I threw this, you know, so much. I wasn't a destroyer thrower, I was a nuke thrower, nuke and forces. And I still have it, so this is my first disc I ever bought that, yeah, uh, it has multiple aces on it. Aces that probably shouldn't even be there because this disc is way too much disc for those kind of holes. I would never throw this kind of a disc anymore on those holes. Uh, let's see, uh, above that we have the Tom Brown Buzz. It's from Tom Brown uh, Open. That uh, was my first BDJ win. That was the, the birth of Rock Rob. It, uh, I went over there, uh, I played with those guys in Mobile, they host a tournament in Mobile, and I played, and so I followed them over to Tallahassee, and I, that's when I asked them about what division I should play in, and that's what they told me, and I ended up winning, and then I got flamed so bad, because my first PDJ event, I went in as a wreck, and I got flamed, and it turned into Wreck Rob, and, and so now there's the name. Uh, next to it, my first dive disc I ever bought, uh, Michigan, huge Michigan fan if you didn't know, Go Blue. Uh, it is, I believe it's a Star Wraith, but I purely got it way back when I first started buying discs. Uh, Brantley Stamped Warden is one I'm most, like, emotional about. It is, it was a charity disc, this charity disc. Uh, I'm going to leave all the info to that in the description to support a young kid and... I just, I can't even talk about it because I get too emotional over that. But the info for that will be in the description of the video. Um, over here, I got my Michigan hats. I got my little hat rack. I got uh, Eat Sleep disc hat. I got my Dynamic disc hat. Um, Dragon Ball Z, I, I'm an anime guy. I like some Dragon Ball Z. I got my Hulk. I got uh, just random just stuff. You know, a big kid. You got to have fun, right? Uh, over here, I just recently cleaned it up a little bit and then I knocked everything over, so I don't even know where everything's at, but I got a smorgasbord. Let me get some of these here. Bag tags, all kinds of bag tags. Let's see here. What else do I got here? Oh, knocking over stuff. I think, yeah, some of the stuff fell back here. I got stuff everywhere. I got bag tags. I got uh, Emerald Coast from 2015. Emerald Coast from 2014. Emerald Coast from 2013, uh, Southern Nationals, these are some metal, uh, Magna for 2013, uh, where I started playing, uh, Playground Disc Golf was based out of Fort Walton, uh, that's 2011, 2012, oh, I got all kinds of stuff, uh, my Ace Club membership I bought for the PDGA, did that one time, I got all my little PDGA tags from all my years of playing in the PDJ and then that was the 2013 playground tag. It's just, it's a smorgasbord and I got all kinds of stuff. Um, you know, I record 
and I work on my computers here to edit the videos and while I'm doing the footage I find it easiest to when I'm editing all the footage to, to just kind of turn set up and talk to you guys it's not because I don't want to be outside uh, recording outside is very very uh, painful with audio quality um, and while I'm editing things are in, popping up in my head so it's just it's easiest for me to translate what I'm doing over to here so now that I've done rambled on and you guys kind of see what's going on around me um, the giveaway the you guys it's gonna be thumbers and tomahawks I think was the most liked video which is just blowing my mind because I gotta trick try to figure out how to film that kind of a shot because I can tell you right now discs plus sky plus sideways no bueno it's just it's it's gonna be it's gonna be really hard but uh, that was you guys most thumbed up tip that you wanted to see so that'll ha happen next Tuesday um, this weekend I'm going to Fort Walton to Ferry Park for a charity tournament that's uh, our ice bowl our ice bowl probably in about 70 degrees hopefully yeah it's so cold I might have to wear my long pants mm. uh, Sunday I plan on making a three-hour drive over to Tallahassee because Tyler it will be out there, Tyler Soro will be out there with the DD RV hosting, uh, what is the name of the event? Brain Fart. He'll be hosting a tournament over there, but it's the grand opening, basically, of the new Tom Brown layout over in Tallahassee, so it's going to be great practice for the Tallahassee Open. Uh, so much going on. Uh, that's the reason why the videos didn't get out Tuesday like they should. What are you guys doing? Are you guys playing anything? I know some of you northern guys. Is the snow starting to go away? Um, you know, we're pretty. We got pretty lucky. I think today it got into the 40s. It dropped again. But you know, tomorrow it'll be almost in the 80s. So, how are you guys doing? Is, is are you guys able to throw? Let me know if you guys are looking forward to any tournaments. Leave a comment in the comment section. As always, guys. <laughs>